Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Patrick and this is Obscure Reference. Nintendo is dropping a mini, not a mini, a normal partner showcase. Partner showcase. Let's try that again. Nintendo is dropping a partner showcase today in lieu of a Nintendo Direct that we all thought was coming last week before Xbox had their big announcement. So instead we're getting this and I certainly have my theories but we can get into it once we actually start the showcase. I want to get through this. Because I think we're getting an Elden Ring trailer also this morning that I want to get to before I go to work. So, it's bright and early. I've got my coffee here. I've got my breakfast here. So, if you see me just munching and sipping away, that's what that is. Um, but, without further ado, I want to get right into this. It's about 23 minutes long. That seems loud. We're going to try it though. Just a skosh. Hopefully it's coming through. Okay. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the first half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. <clears throat> okay, let's get into some headlines. Let's do it. Strive to oh, right off the gate. Okay. Get ready to embark on an we had a feeling when Xbox made their announcement last week that we would see some of their stuff at the rumored Nintendo Direct. Um, cool to see that we're already getting that. The leading theories are this Pentiment, Hi-Fi Rush, and potentially Sea of Thieves. So cool to see this is already here. Does not look as good as it probably does on Xbox. I haven't played it on Xbox, so I don't know, but it definitely looks like a Switch game. But watch out! You aren't alone out there. Work your way through the campaign to uncover the mysteries of the backyard, or build, share, and play your own creations in playgrounds mode. Do you have what it takes to make it big in this minuscule world and fend off its creepy, crawly inhabitants? Go big or never go home. When Grounded launches on the Nintendo Switch system April 16th. April, all right. A tale of destruction and renewal. Oh, she got the Infinity Gauntlet. Turn to the Ender Lily's world. This once flourishing oh. country sits atop a wealth of buried magic. Homunculi, artificial life forms created as the country flourished were meant to bring about a brighter future. That felt good. I was very dehydrated. As Lilac, you'll reluctantly bond with and journey alongside <clears throat> the homunculus who played a pivotal role in the country's demise. When the magic buried beneath the surface became corrupted, the citizens fled upward to escape its reach. This doesn't seem like my thing, but more power to you. Along your journey, you'll battle rampaging homunculi. Does give off like Castlevania Hollow Knight vibes. Creations will join you on your adventure. That's kind of cool. Your companions and lending their aid. What awaits Lilac and the homunculi? I just don't think I'll have time to play this. Honestly, this looks more and more like my kind of thing. The more I see of it. Launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Okay. It's your adventure, your way. In your way, bro. Switch games. Explore an interconnected world oh. of puzzles in this charming adventure. That's really Slide clever. I like this. Rows and columns on a sprawling gameplay grid where everything moves when you move. That's clever. Solve puzzles by venturing out into the wilderness, helping out the townsfolk. And taking down monsters in handcrafted dungeons. What awaits you on this? This is cool. I like this. Discovery. The world is yours to solve in a ranger. A oh, cool. puzzling adventure. Sliding onto Nintendo Switch this summer. This summer. Guy the Lane, a young prince on a journey to liberate five nations from the mighty empire's dominion. Unicorn Overlord's a really cool name, though. Troops, All right. Form your strategy. Then unleash your army on the opposing Zenoiran forces. Your real-time strategy planning will turn the tide of war. During battle, you may get to recruit new allies or be faced with difficult decisions. The streets like executor. The streets like unicorn overlord. 
launching oh. on Nintendo Switch March 8th. A demo will be available today on hmm. Nintendo eShop. I might check that out. Originally released on the I Nintendo might. 3DS system, the first Monster Hunter Stories game returns. Oh. Now fully voiced and in HD. Cool. As a rider, I'm not a Monster Hunter guy, but that's cool. Fight alongside monsters in turn-based combat to confront the Black Blight that plagues the world. Many familiar monsters from across the series are included. Plus, you can browse artwork and listen to music in the newly added museum. Take flight in Monster Hunter Stories, soaring onto the Nintendo Switch system this summer. What is this? Was this Epic Mickey? Then Sid's mischievous mirror lured Mickey Mouse into his workshop. I was gonna say it's a Sorcerer Apprentice song. Finding the magic paintbrush. It is Epic Mickey. A curious Mickey creates a mess and becomes trapped in a magical wasteland inhabited by forgotten and rejected characters. Mm. I didn't think we'd ever see this game again. Epic Mickey returns in a faithful remake of the beloved classic. That's cool. I never played this when it came out. Using the magic brush to shape the world with I'm a big I'm a big uh, I've always liked Mickey even as a kid. Disney Epic Mickey rebrushed. That's cool. Nintendo Switch this year. Genuinely didn't think we'd ever see that game again. Please take a look at this. Another Xbox game. That was ooh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence while you were away. I'll be counting <coughs> on you to gather more intel on the matter. I suspect it to be traveling back and forth between Tokyo and the Netherworld. Is this DLC for SMV5? That's about all we know right now. Wait. Shin Megami sends SMT5. Hey, what's your persona? My brother would never have been dragged into this war. Like I've been playing a lot of Persona 3 Reload. Not alone. If you want revenge, on Xbox, and that looks remarkably better than this does. Allow me to remind you how you were wronged by this world. This looks neat though. I'm not a Shimigami Tensei guy. I don't think. And and what? What was that? Vengeance. Didn't even see the first three. Enter or return to this ravaged wasteland and experience an untold story on your adventure. Let's take a look at some more headlines. Let's take a look. Get ready to unite and fight in these Nintendo Switch games. Fight in iconic battles from across the Star Wars mm. galaxy in this collection of two classic games. Up to six Whoa. more players can strike back against familiar faces in massive online battles. This collection includes additional playable characters such as Kit Fisto, Yo! additional maps like Java's Palace, plus battle as your favorite heroes or villains in Hero Assault. Play as Luke Skywalker. I want Kit Fisto. Don't more. care. Don't care. Maps including Death Star Damn. and Naboo. Mm -hmm. Don't care. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 14th. This is developing this. Begin today on Nintendo Wii Shop. That's cool. Come on, it's a snow day. Come on, butters. Let's go, Stan. Snow day, everyone. Welcome to South Park. As the new kid. All right, you're on now, new kid. Join Cartman, Stan, and the rest of the gang to save the town in this co-op action game. Choose from a wide range of iconic South Park items and costumes. You already know our thoughts on this. John and Austin are excited for this. I'm it's time for getting there. Take on an avalanche of enemy factions and solo play. It'll be fun to play with friends, I'm sure. Three friends. Grab your gang and head into the fray in South Park Snow Day. Launching on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It's Snow Day, dude! 
sharpen your steel for the latest entry in the Sword Art series. <laughs> the virtual mm. world goes haywire. The past and present collide. Alongside former adversaries and fallen allies. Oh shit. To you to save the world. I've watched Sword Art Online. Experience a whole a lot of it. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Online, with up to 20 players in co -op play. So the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh's here. <laughs> Your daydream launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Break, build, and Gundam. Your ultimate Gundam, Gundam. Gundam Breaker 4. Choose from over so I kind of knew that just on the beat alone. Combine and customize their parts to build your very own Oh my god. Known as Gunpla. Then put That's kind of cool. To the test in a variety of combat missions. By defeating enemies and acquiring new parts. New parts. Oh, that's cool. Alright, listen. I'm not going to play this probably. But, I mean. Hmm? The newest entry in the Super Monkey Ball hmm? series rolls onto Nintendo Switch. I love Monkey Ball. Brand new stages await with optional motion controls. No, I'll get that out of here. Oh, you cool. Blast over obstacles and create shortcuts to victory. There it is. Speedrun's gonna have a blast with that. All with friends and family in four-player local co-op. The 16 players can battle oh my god they tilt their way to be the top banana that's fun be the first to the finish line in race mode grab the falling bananas in banana hunt team up to take down robots in robots Smash. again this is one of those games that's like just on my periphery you know so like i'll probably pass it but like it's gonna look real tempting i do love monkey ball oh that's cool. That cool. When Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system June 25th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Get ready for a good time. Who wrote that needs to be fired? It's liquidy. It's solidy. It's goo. Stretch it, shape it, and use it to build strategic structures. And we're about halfway through. As far as Burner Showcases go, this has actually been pretty solid, I think. And even whatever this is, your goal is to guide as much goo as possible into a like, global pipe distribution. I knew we weren't going to get anything big from Nintendo specifically because it's a Partner Showcase. Certainly nowhere sinister. Uh, but we've seen some pretty interesting stuff from third parties so far. I expect we'll see more Xbox at the tail end of this. I don't know what we end on. You'll encounter different types of goo balls I don't think we see Silk Song here either. Probably just said that the front. But... There's something on all these like smaller third-party games that I didn't think I'd be into. And that's what you want from these kind of shows. Launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch May 23rd. Build a life transcending time. <laughs> okay. Craft your story 1,000 years in the making. In oh gosh, got an itch. Fantasy life game. Oh, fantasy it's life. Thriving island in the seas of I know a lot of people like that. Stands deserted. Travel to the island's past to gather resources, then use them to restore the island in the present. It's an You'll odd spot for a bench, but all right. Many different roles. Not my, not my fantasy life. Why not become a miner to collect ore? About a magician to take down monsters, or even a carpenter to craft furniture. You can swap between these lives and many more as you rebuild the island. As you travel through time, you'll gradually uncover truths about your new Look at that hole. Look at the size of that hole. Additionally, who's Rem? Four players can journey together online. The scenery is you know what I'm talking about. Island, and set off to discover the secrets that lie in store. This life is yours to live in. Fantasy Life I, <clears throat> the girl who steals time. Launching on Nintendo Switch. Should give it back, please? Frick, bro. It's time to hunt for. Are we getting a release date for this? Are they just showing it off. The world these days is dark and mean. Even the 
water tastes unclean. Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? Why is he talking like that? I love it. Undersea world in this souls like adventure. This is a must play for me. I recently had my shell taken away. If you can go get that treasure there, John, about I'll gladly trade your shell for it. That's just fucking what's his face from Dark Souls. Framped. To cardboard during your hunt to reclaim your prized shell. It would appear the hunt is on, I say. I, I, I've been working my butt off trying to get my old life back. But you'll run into a few crabby predators along the way. This is most of this game I think I've seen. We can work out a deal, little Herbert. That treasure is as good as mine. Use over 60 ability granting shells and harness powerful umami magic. Umami magic, I love it. Frenetic deep sea combat. I'm really excited for this game. <laughs> Unironically. As they say, Ooh. one crab's trash is another crab's treasure. Alright, that was good. April. Alright. April 25th. Is that for every platform or just switch? These Nintendo Switch games will have you dashing, dropping, and drilling. <laughs> Join Penny and Yo -Yo oh, when's this coming out? platforming adventure. This is another one I'm excited for. You Sonic Mania. Dash, swing, ride, and master the cosmic string in over 40 levels across 11 vibrant worlds. All cool, cool, cool. a massive penguin army and a colorful cast of bosses. Feast on power-ups to activate transformations. Help out the denizens during your acrobatic escapades. And put your tricks to the test in a time attack mode. Hope you're ready to yo. This just looks fun. Big breakaway launches on Nintendo Switch Say today. today. Let's go. All right. Oh, Suica. Is it? Pay DLC to the fruit matching phenomenon, Suica game. Suica game. Choose from free modes. I love that this game has exploded so much that they had to put it in a Nintendo Partner Showcase. Higher score than your opponent in original mode. Make split second decisions against the clock in time limit mode. And overwhelm your opponent with bunches I've not really played this game, mode. but from everything I've seen, Plus, it just looks like 2048 with extra steps. The DLC in the future. Get battling when this paid DLC for Suica game drops onto the Nintendo Switch system. Paid DLC. Today. Yikes. A bundle of the game Yikes. and DLC is also available today. Game's exploding. Let's hamper that. Oh. For some thrilling drilling in the 2D action platformer Pepper Grinder. Yeah, I remember reading about this one. Burrow through terrain. This one itches a scratch in my brain. I didn't think I had. Enemies in your way. And ride on gnarly vehicles to recover your missing fortune. Pepper Grinder drills its way onto Nintendo Switch March 28th. Hmm. A demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Giddy up for a fusion of solitaire and horse racing in this oh. version of pocket car jockey. Take People really like this game. Sequence of numbers and build up power during a race. Check the positions of other horses. Like this doesn't seem like a game you think would would pop off, but like when the 3DS shop is closing, everyone's like, grab this game. So that's dope that this is coming out to the Switch. Read them to raise the next generation of ideal steeds. You can even race online against other players. It's off to the races. If it comes out at 60, I'm not getting it. Right on. Launching on Nintendo Switch today. If it's more than 30, it's a it's a pass. Oh, Pentiment. I saw that. What is this one? Snuffkin? I like the art style a lot. 23rd. I gotta play the demo. I have it. I don't know if I can still play it. Oh, is this Mario Party but for Demon Slayer? I low key hate that. <laughs> Kingdom Come. Oof. That's Contra. Galuga. Galuga. Galuga Whale. Must be getting near the end if we're getting up. Yeah. There's Pentiment. Yeah. Figured they would just kind of slide this in here. They're like, if you know what this is, check it out. People love this game. That almost 
wraps up this Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. But before we go, we have two more announcements to share. First, please take a look at this. This is a bad time to put food in my mouth. Online. Nintendo Switch Online. It's an emulator. Rare. What from Rare? This isn't... No. Snake Rattle... We were just getting a bunch of Rare games? I thought we were getting Rare Replay for a second. I was like, I see Battletoads and I see... What is that? Yeah, Killer Instinct. Shout out to that. I always forget that that's... Oh, Blast Core. Oh, cool. I've never actually played that. These games are available today. Cool. You can play them with an active Nintendo Switch Online or Where's Diddy Kong Switch Racing? Online Plus expansion pack membership. <laughs> where's Where's Donkey Kong 64? Next is our last announcement. Please take All a right. look. Alright. Hi-Fi Rush? It's gotta be Hi-Fi Rush, right? Oh, it's not. I don't know what this is. Right up the swing. This is what they wanted to end on, huh? New endless ocean game. Welcome to the Veiled Sea, a hmm. location known to very few people. Okay. This unexplored region. This doesn't do it for me personally. Guy. I'm sure Offering people are thrilled by a new endless ever. ocean game, but. Up to thirty players online can plunge into the ocean's depths together. Share your discoveries with other divers and exchange a friendly greeting while freely exploring the vast ocean. There are over 500 different species of marine life to encounter. I don't know. I think Monkey Ball would have gotten a bigger pop out of me than this. Some of them are creatures thought to be extinct. They had such a good thing going. Hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Just as a general principle, I just don't like fish, you know? Don't care for them. What will you find on your undersea journey? Endless Ocean Luminous launches on the Nintendo Switch system May 2nd. Mm -hmm. Pre-orders begin today mm. on Nintendo eShop. Mm. You're looking forward to exploring the vast ocean on Nintendo Switch. I'm not. That's all for today's Nintendo I'm not. Direct Partnership. I'm showcase. sorry. Thank no disrespect to that team. I'm just not. Okay. Well, we start wrapping up here. I might wrap this video up too. Thank you for checking in on this reaction video. I think this was a pretty solid presentation overall. If I had to give it a letter grade, I'd probably say like a B minus C plus. Um, a lot of cool stuff in here. They convinced me a lot of to at least look at a couple of games that I wasn't already uh, planning to look at just because of the year that this is shaping up to be already. Um, I think they had a weak finish as you can tell from my reaction to that. Um, but uh, on the whole, I think they did a, it, this was a pretty good job and I think this was worth doing a whole partner showcase for. So yeah, like I said, probably gonna stick with the C plus I think. Not nothing that got a huge pop out of me, but it is exciting stuff. We're starting to see Xbox come to the Switch. I'm expecting we'll see some of that on PlayStation whenever they have their next showcase as well. Um, but cool to see it already happening after last week. So, uh, yeah, very cool, all in all. And, uh, yeah, so if you like what we do here, um, be sure to leave a like on the video. Comment what was your favorite thing presented in the showcase. What are you most looking forward to that was there? Um, and then, yeah, there will be an Elden Ring trailer dropping at some point today, as well as the trailer for the, the first trailer for the Borderlands movie. We'll be reacting to both of those, so stay tuned. So 
Um, yeah, I'll put this up as soon as I'm done editing it. But yeah, no, this is Obscure Reference. We stream Mondays and Wednesdays, Thursdays, um, 7.30 Central Standard Time, usually. Sometimes we stray a little bit because, you know, technical difficulties and all that. But uh, so subscribe, ring that bell, uh, follow us on our socials so you know when we're going live uh, or when we're doing a bonus stream as well. So yeah, if you do all that, I'll be, I'll be your friend. So uh, yeah, it's been good talking to you. I'll see you later.